Okay, so this kind of takes us back to um, the first part of this chapter. And they're telling us first started working with logarithms and or with exponential growth. And, and so they're telling me in 10 minutes, there's 800 bacteria. And then after 40 minutes, there's 1,800 bacteria. So we, they want us to find, uh, well, they want us to find a bunch of stuff. Uh, probably going to just go ahead and write the, write the uh, equation, and then we'll work backwards on that. And doing that will help us answer some of these questions. So I know that 800 equals some initial population times some growth factor to the 10th power. And I know that 1800 equals some initial population, that same initial population, times some growth factor to the 40th power. So it must be that 800 divided by b to the 10th has to equal a, and 1800 divided by b to the 40th has to equal a. And so I can, since they're both equal to that initial population, I'm just going to set it equal, set them equal. And then I'm going to find the cross products. Because it is just a portion. And I'm going to set, uh, because I've got a polynomial, I'm going to set the whole thing equal to zero. So I'm going to bring the b to the tenth term over. By subtracting it. And just like any polynomial to solve it, I'm going to find a, I can I can see a greatest common factor of what? Let's see, 200 b to the tenth. Usually, you can take that smallest factor, right? And when you're dividing by b to the tenth, you subtract the exponents. And now zero is going to be one of the answers here, and we're going to ignore that because we really, you know, that's what trivial, right? So what we're going to solve is b to the four b to the thirtieth minus nine equals zero. And add 9, divide by 4, gives me 9 over 4, which is 2.25. And then I'm going to take the 30th root of both sides of this equation, and that'll tell me my growth factor. So let's see. Uh, 2.25 raised to the... Uh, there is a nth root button that you can use, but I tend to do it this way. All right, so that's the, that's the growth factor. Now, we know that, uh, going back up above, you can see that 800 over b to the tenth is, what equal, is equal to a, and we know a number for b, so all we have to do is take 800, take and divide it by that number raised to the tenth power. And since that number is on my calculator already, I'm just going to do 800 divided by that last answer raised to the tenth power. And that is what we're thinking the initial population is, about 610 of the bacteria. Okay, so what's the next thing? Find the doubling time. Well, since we know B, and I know when I take, if I have some population divided by that initial population, when I divide what I have by what I started with, uh, uh, that should be, we're looking for the double, doubling time, right? Doubling time. So we know... Uh, this new population has to be twice of what we started with, so I can say 2 has to equal that 1.027399, how many places do I want to take this out, to the uh, t power. So we're looking for the time, so I, I can take the log rhythm of both sides to log base 10, and I can bring that t down in front because it is a logarithm. So the log of that number, I'm not going to write that number again. Okay, and then you can divide both sides. You can divide, here I'll grab a different ink. I'm going to divide the log of 2 by the log of that awful number right there. And that should be how long it takes to double. So on my calculator, let's see. 
I bring that down lower just so that I can have it. Now I'm going to take the log of 2 divided by the log of that number and that tells me 25.6 uh, minutes, hours, what is it? Minutes. And that kind of makes sense because if there were, uh, if we started with 600 and there were 1800, so that that's almost tripled in 40 minutes. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a reasonable, that's a reasonable answer. Okay, so that's the doubling time. They wanted us to do what else? The population after 105 minutes. So I guess we need an equation. And we're going to go with um, the population based on time, uh, 610.5, wasn't it? Yeah. Times 1.0274, probably in up decimal places. I'll let the calculator carry, carry the rest of it. Raised to the 105 minutes, I believe it was. Yeah, 105 minutes. And that's just uh, evaluating that on your calculator. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to store that number in that variable. So that way I don't have to keep typing it. So let's clear it. 610 times that variable, that base that I had. I'm going to raise that to the 105th power. So that's the population in 105 minutes. 10,000 of them. And when will the population reach 11,000? So 11,000 equals 610.5 times that number to the T. We don't know. So we're going to divide. All right, so I'm going to divide both sides by 610.5. So 610.5. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to do 11,000 divided by 610.5. <laughs> smart boards aren't always that smart, huh? <laughs> or maybe it's the operator. There. So I'm getting 18.018. 18. 18.018 equals 1.0274-ish to the power. And then I'm going to take the logarithm of both sides to unlock that. Exponent. And then divide both sides by that log. And that should be the time. So let's go back to the calculator. And since I've already got this number just calculated and unrounded, I'm going to take the log of that answer, and I'm going to divide it. Remember, I stored that variable, that number, that variable a. I'm going to just recall that. So that's in says, and it's 106 minutes. Didn't we just find 105 a minute ago? Let's go to explore that a little bit. Well, let's see. In 105, there is. 10,422, 
So that tells me that just in a just a minute later, a little more, almost two minutes later, it's going to have grown almost that many bacteria. Amazing. Well, that's that problem.